let's think about it this way. All I said was that you have to be a better human and that if you have to get a passport essentially to go get cookie, then that says something about you. Why? Because there's millions of people here in America, including people that travel overseas. So if you can't get a girl here, then good luck getting a girl anywhere else. And you also want to know why? Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to be discussing a lady on TikTok who apparently got her account banned. I'm not sure if it was her who said something or did something, or it was the passport being trolls. That's the only way a lot of these ladies are getting triggered. For some reason, there's been an influx of passport bro content on my FYP. Um, and I sincerely hope that those ding-dongs go wherever they go and meet up with green car girlies who take them to the f cleaner. Men are making comments about getting their passport and not dating them anymore. So I guess a lot of these ladies are tired of seeing it in their comments. So they're getting upset. But it's definitely funny. We here for a little gossip and drama. You passport bros, y'all just as toxic as me. Y'all some true internet trolls. They done got this lady TikTok account banned. And TikTok and social media is losing their mind right now anyway. You guys better enjoy TikTok for while you have it because I don't think it's going to be around much sooner. Yeah, eventually, it's going to get banned in, this, in the U.S. So we're going to laugh it up now and soak up some of this pettiness and drama. So you know we're going to break it down. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment down below. Let's get right into it. Guys, let's get our passports. She's still not going to choose you, baby. I'm if you need a passport, I think it's you. Stop blaming American women for the reason you can't get girls. Treat women better and it will be easier for y'all to find love. Not that I give a f where or how you get to where you need to go to where you need to go. Just treat women better and you wouldn't have to go far at all. What do you mean treat women better? I do treat women better. I, I, I have treated women better. And I was one of the best simps ever. Men treating women better only sometimes make women drier. She's not turned on by me being the nice guy. She wants the guy that's a jerk or a prick. No, I want to be somewhere where I can be somewhere where the woman simply appreciates the fact that I'm good to her and she don't look at me as the nice guy. She's not turned off by the fact that a man is a nice guy. She is turned on. That's the thing about foreign women. They are turned on about the fact that men are the nice guy. Let's think about it this way. All I said was that you have to be a better human and that if you have to get a passport essentially to go then that says something about you. Why? Because there's millions of people here in America, including people that travel overseas. So if you can't get a girl here, then good luck getting a girl anywhere else. And you also want to know why? Because in other countries, men are held at a different standard. They are providers. They do pay for a lot of them. They are the main breadwinner, and they do take care of it. Unlike a lot of you men nowadays, huh? Hmm. And what? Y'all don't like America because we have free will here? Or is it because women have more rights and we're able to provide for ourselves and now that we're realizing that we don't need you, it's showing. And now y'all are mad. Talking about, oh, we're going to get our passport. Go ahead. Clap, clap. You didn't make the roster anyway. Don't hate from outside of the club that you couldn't even get in. Yes, there is a large number of women right here in the States that men can deal with. And a lot of us men, I mean men who dated multiple women at one time, had the weekly rotations. Actually, most men will get tired of dealing with multiple women you do want to get to the point where you where you can at least reduce that roster number down to two or three and don't want to deal with the confusion of it especially with a lot of american women who come with multiple partners from their past large number of body counts a lot of diseases out there now of course you can get those overseas too i'm just saying i think a lot of western women come from a very sexual revolution and it just kind of done tainted the whole dating pool. They're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity. Okay, fine. Given all the factors you've said about Asian women, still, you don't need to be rich to get married. You don't need to speak English when you're in bed. So at the end of this conversation, still, the man is the one who's going to choose who's going to be the woman that they're going to marry. So what's your point? Move on. They don't like you. Period. <laughs> she got that off. 
and she hit it right on the nail. These women better stop talking about the fact that these women don't know no English or when a, when a man and a woman have a natural connection, you guys can fall in love and, and still let natural biology take its place. Thank God we have technology nowadays. We can find a way to communicate after all that. And I don't mind the fact that she's speaking a little language. They can be a little silent sometimes. Sometimes people be talking too much anyway. So it, us little silence is okay in a relationship. Just like KS said, sex, a sandwich, and silence. That's all a man really needs. And that's why these foreign women are winning, because they know that. They're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity. You may or may not I can tell that a lot of the women that are hating on men going to other countries have not been overseas. Number one, I want to say I have nothing against American women. I have nothing against them. But if you're hating on men going to other countries to find wives, then you're probably the problem. To say that the reason that they're going to marry you because you're American is because their country, they're very poor and they have no status is crazy. And it shows your lack of intelligence and your ignorance. It shows that you don't live abroad. Like no one can have money in other countries. Calling them poor and uneducated is crazy, even though America isn't even the top five as far as educated the educated population overseas they're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life all right i'm starting to think that end race uh end asian hate movement that was going on that didn't last long enough i guess it didn't last long enough not for these women not for these western women what happened they're at the front lines of every racial social issue there was screaming at everybody for being racist now here they are Showing the real colors. Like, come on, do better. The sisterhood, all women stick together, women for women, women's empowerment, the future is female. Whatever they wanted to call it, it's going out the door when it comes to you messing with another woman's man. And hell, I also thought it was just for the men they didn't want anyway, so why are they mad? Anyway, I think a lot of people are unaware of how deep the relationship is between Filipinos and black people. First of all, everything I'm going to say is public knowledge. If I found it on Google, I'm pretty sure you could too. They used to separate Filipinos and black people in the US Navy as shown here. One of the first people to discover our islands was an African tribe, and we still have African tribes present in the Philippines as of today. There was also a war between American forces and Filipino president and nationalist Emilio Aguinaldo, where David Fagin, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but he was an African-American soldier who decided to help the Filipinos alongside two to three other African-American soldiers. And American soldiers used to call Filipinos the N-word too. So yeah, I learned all of this because I googled can Filipinos wear bonnets one night and I went deep into it. Yeah, that's my time. Thank you. This particular group of people may be family members. That's cool. That's cool. That's awesome because we're all actually family. We all know that DNA proved that we are all actual distant cousins. We are literally all family members. But that's all I got in this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and definitely drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching to the end. I'll see you in the next video.